Hello to everyone and welcome to another Adventure Story Channel video. Today we will discuss, as you can see here, a investigation report. And what is this investigation report? This letter will talk us uh, about some case, okay, and analysis in this case and we will see a route, okay, how we investigate a accident or damages, something like that, okay. And this kind of investigation reports you can find in some uh, companies, the companies send them every time on board, uh, good companies, they try to show the, to the personnel, okay, what is the proper uh, solution okay and how they will be alerted about any troubleshooting and and other situations which can you see on board okay first of all i'd like to thank you that you are staying with adventure story channel and this investigation report i found also in some files of the ship and I was really interested to share with you that one because this is a very detailed situation, okay? We have the vessel name, we have the date, the year, we have the investigation subject which was air condition compressor in broken status, okay, we have the main investigator, we have which position is it, technical manager, okay. But most important, I like here today to stand in details, okay? How uh, we take the incident, okay, in the first hours, okay? What we do, the first steps, what we do. Okay, let's see one by one. We have the data of air conditioning plant, we have the shipyard. Song Dong shipbuilder. This is Korean made. Most of the equipment uh, of Korean made ships is Sand Song Dong. Hull number. Okay, every ship have its own hull number. Uh, classification. Okay, classification A B S. Uh, air conditioning and ventilation plant maker. High Air Korea. Compressor making bulk, compressor type, you have number of cylinders, bore, stroke, speed, RPM per minute, and cooling media, which is from R407C. Okay, let's see the description of the incident. Air conditioning, air conditioning compressor, okay, breakdown after 2000. 176 hours and what we can see here okay of continue operation uh, they must be changed on basis okay on monthly basis or like that something and 2000 hours okay continue operation it's quite a lot of time running hours because okay, sometimes compressor starts and stops. It depends. Okay, maybe it was was working uh, completely. Continues. Okay, let's continue. During the running operation, the compressor noise changed, but the crew did not stop it, and the compressor after eight hours stopped from overload. Okay, the crew could not start it because the motor which drive the compressor was always. In overload status. After cylinder cover dismounted, they found that the valve suction discharge were broken and the broken valve parts inserted in the compressor chamber and depicted the pistons in the cylinder unit surfaces. Okay, the valve was broken, they entered the compressor chamber, make damages to the surface of the piston and cylinder okay the first step that <coughs> the immediate cause which crew must do is if any noise is observed 
and it's different that you listen every day that's why we make around morning time also evening and if you listen some abnormal noise it's better to reform someone some engineer uh, second engineer or chief engineer <coughs> and it's better to stop to investigate the cause okay the immediate cause compressor suction the central valve breakdown and has a result to damage and block the compressor pistons and destroy the cylinder unit's surfaces okay basic cause suction and discharge valves damage because of liquid freon reach in the suction valves area okay as we know in the compressor side from the suction side okay the valves must suck the freon in air phase okay in gas phase never liquid because they will broke so lack of control lack of control means insufficient oversight of activities from design to planning and operation inadequate system standards the maker in order to ensure the safe compressor operation installed in the ac plant the following safety device and equipment okay as you know all air conditioning plant refrigerating plant installed with safety device okay in order to find how the compressor was broken i inspect and check all the safety devices and instruments which the maker uses for protect the compressor and my results are the following safety device okay high pressure transmitter braking in case of too high pressure in the compressor discharge pipeline cut in 22 bar tested and was found in proper value low pressure transmitters braking in case of too low pressure in the suction compressor lines uh, cut in 4.5 cut out lower alarm 3.4 the transmitter tested and activated successfully in these two valves okay as you see now the low pressure was tested was good the high pressure also was tested was good but why this was not really protect the compressor okay from breakdown this is the main uh, purpose okay because the these transmitters receive only pressure okay they cannot understand in what phase is the freon okay this is the point and if the pressure is okay they will work without any interruption okay let's continue all pressure control braking in case of falling all pressure in lubricating oil system cut in low alarm 1.5 tested and was found in proper value also good lube oil pressure was good was not activated nothing to do with freon okay oil suction temperature sensor type pt100 braking in case of too low gas temperature in compressor suction line low warning 6 degrees low alarm 4 degrees and high warning at 35 tested and was activated successfully in both values okay suction temperature sensor and now as we can see all the safety devices was activated successfully in both so was tested everything safety equipment okay there is a oil separator Okay, location in the discharge line after compressor purpose separate the freon from the compressor oil and return the oil to the compressor crankcase the oil separator dismantled cleaned inspected and was found in proper operational condition and there is another safety equipment which is liquid separator accum accumulator okay which location is in the suction line and before the compressor 
the purpose is to stop undesirable amount of liquid freon to reach the and damage the compressor suction valve okay this is the main purpose of this liquid separator the liquid separator okay we have also with red letters was found insulated from the shipyard personnel with strong foam insulation around okay as you can see here these pipes in the image this is a very big mistake this means that the device this device was out of order because the liquid separator this separator here accumulator separator liquid uses the ambient te engine temperature in order to convert the saturated gas freon into dry gas and avoid any liquid hammering effects in the compressor suction valves okay these pipes must be not isolated also i have not seen in my previous ship that was isolated like that and also here you can see and now we will see how this liquid separator look like okay both liquid separator covered with foam insulation and converted in one simple pipe okay the saturated coolant gas inserted to the gas separator okay here this is the gas in the gas is ins inserted here and the drops of the gas lose the speed around here as you can see the diameter of the space is bigger okay and the accumulator absorb temperature from engine room from ambient temperature and convert the saturated gas uh, in dry gas so you can see even if the gas going here okay it it have holes here okay as you can see i will make a zoom here you can see it's holes diameter in the case that if some gas it convert to liquid again here will drop and fell down here okay so the gas will flow like that here will remain gas whatever drops will be trapped here okay and the gas will go to compressor to the suction valves so they have a insulation here form that's why the ambient temperature of engine cannot convert the saturated gases to dry and that liquid enter inside the suction valves of compressor and make a hammer effect inside and broke the valves okay and then we have the conclusion okay what to understand from that problem incorrect installation all the foam insulations must be removed from the liquid separator okay from here this one here and here which shows the arrows design failure liquid separator size is small and not effective this is the some design failure always you need to observe to check after you read the investigations okay level indicator this is also very important to know glass because there is a level indicator glass in the freon condenser is not the proper in case that the freon level is high the crew cannot check it and confuse the high level with low level due to cooling liquid crystal clear okay white color the cooling liquid really it's so clear and if there is no any floating balls okay you cannot determine proper the level okay and sometimes these balls can stack up also you must have a nice flashlight to check exactly where is the line of the liquid okay and where is located okay and after as we, as we can see here after compressor breakdown the air conditioned condenser was found full of liquid freon 
incorrect handle after incident, inadequate management and control from the crew in order to minimize the damage, after first sign of broken valves, if the compressor stopped at once during the noise appearance, the damage will be minimized only to the valve plates and not to the piston and compressor cylinder units. Lack of knowledge in air conditioning operation, the crew must increase his knowledge regarding air condition operation in order to avoid the following indesirable situations during AC operation. And here we have a MOLLE diagram in which you can see the absolute pressure here in this side and the enthalpy kilojoules per kilos here okay we can see the saturated vapor here this is the critical point okay this is the saturated liquid and we have the quality also and temperatures okay it depends what temperature we have what quality we you can for, okay, this is for learning purposes, lines, specific volume, okay, for R407C, you can use this mollier to see what you have, you have saturated liquid or vapor, okay, it depends the pressure, the temperature, and you can see the quality. Okay, and let's see here, do not pass pure liquid coolant through the compressor suction valves, this is very important. The suction pressure and temperature to be kept within mark maker limit, the pressure of the temperatures is very important, because if the temperatures will be not keep within the maker limits, situations like that will occur. Okay the gas will change to liquid and then we have breakdown of the suction valves or something else will happen and the frame will change some phase and the system will not work properly if large quantities of oil to be topped up there are risk of oil hammering effects in case check the oil return okay also never increase the level high okay this is also not recommended keep your level at normal level particularly the air condition plant must be inspected and is recommended the replacement of liquid traps solenoid valves in the line etc if are not in proper condition okay also, there should be no movement of coolant whenever and while the compressor is at a standstill. This is correct because when the compressor is standstill, the valve is closed and there is no movement of coolant. This is correct. Correction actions. Okay, remove all insulations from the liquid separators. In case to have any other incident in the future must inform the maker to prove the liquid separator accumulator performance must be improving the engine officers and crew knowledge regarding air condition plant always to operate proper and safe and it's very important air condition operator to know Molière diagram for understand the liquid and gas phase of air condition plant so we have learned a lot of things here i think and the first thing that you need to do okay sometimes it is impossible to stop the machinery even if the breakage occur at that time we are there but if we can we stop okay we investigate the case and we take the proper measurements we look we read read the book and we continue also I had to say that as you can see at the top okay just imagine this compressor is speed is 1433 rpm per minute okay and per second 
divide it by per second and you will find it's still quite a lot per second already the compressor even you listen now at this moment and until you will stop there will be some rpms already okay done that means the problem already will occur but we will try to avoid whatever we can okay thank you for watching i will try to make more videos more interesting videos stay tuned to adventure story channel check my previous videos thank you bye bye